Hi everyone, it's Lauren. Happy 2020. This is my first process video for you for our wonderful 2020 year and I hope that you are looking forward to this new decade and I hope that you've thought up some wonderful crafty goals that you'd like for this year and that you're feeling really inspired at the beginning of the year to create some beautiful things and just to you know, have a wonderful, wonderful time. I have. I've I've really been thinking about some stuff and I've got some plans to sort of nurture my creativity over the next 12 months and I'm hoping they sort of all all roll out naturally. But I think it's a nice idea to have a little bit of a reflection on the things that we love in the new year and, you know, make some goals. And, you know, if they if they start out well, they do. If they end in February, then that's totally fine as well. But I guess it's nice just to have a bit of a new outlook and the beginning of a new decade is a perfect, great time for that. So I am here today to share with you a layout I'm creating as part of the Hip Kit Club design team. Um, I was challenged by the team to use the three little, wonderful, gorgeous little pots of Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals, which were in the December kit, colour kit, and to also use the Die Cut Ephemera uh, pack out of the main kit. So this layout, I've come up with um, a way of incorporating both those beautiful elements and sharing. Sharing, firstly... The golden rule of you always always must apply gesso to your page when applying a wet mixed media like this one. I think this is particularly important when you're adding water to a product like the Magicals. Like we've got these beautiful little powders, we add water, it turns into the product that we're going to use. Then this happens and it soaks straight through the page and it didn't work at all. So my original plan was just having this a light subtle wash over this beautiful embossed tidy swap paper that was in the kits as well and it just soaked straight through. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. So here I am. I've dried that off and now I'm applying clear gesso over the top so I can start really working this Lindy Stamp Gang magical and it will stay on top of the page and not soak through it. I actually like, like looking back on it now, I actually kind of like that lovely, just soft, subtle wash. But the photo that I was using was really quite a, like a strong photo. And I just didn't want it, the background to get lost in it. I really wanted to create that balance throughout my layout. So I knew immediately I'm going to have to apply some gesso, fill up my little um, paint palette there with some more magicals and let let's get messy. So here I am, just my old tried and true technique of moving the product around and kind of pulling it where I want it to go. This is a little way of me, um, although it looks messy, I am I have got a little bit of control, which is sometimes nice. See how you can see those darker bits there? That's where the gesso, I haven't applied gesso, um, and you can see the difference there. I look, I, it's going, Most of this is going to get covered up by a photo, but as you can see, um, those areas, areas there that's a big difference between the the product that ha is sitting on the gesso there you can really see that color the true color of the product there so as you can see I've started out with the blue the pink and the yellow and I'm moving through and I had this idea in my head that I was going to cut out that cut apart sheet from crepe paper that's in our kits and make a my own die cut ephemera now, if you are on a scrapbooking budget, and I know that we all are, sometimes in our scrapping life we're a little bit, we're able to splurge a little bit more than usual, but I think most scrapbookers do have some kind of budget and we really need to be conscious of that. And, you know, I think for people that are on the Hip Kit Club um, subscriptions, that's probably your monthly budget just going there and you get that beautiful parcel every month. And, you know, I think budgets are important. I think we all need to have financial goals. Um, but sometimes when things get a little bit tough, we need to come up with ways to still fill our creative cup, but make our scrapbooking a little bit more affordable. And these die cut sheets are a perfect way of doing that. I cut up that entire 12 by 12 inch sheet 
and look at that pile of ephemera that I have there to layer up and to use as embellishments on my page. So really this page um, has, I've used one piece of white cardstock and one pattern piece of cut cardstock and then I'll apply my ephemera which is my I guess my luxury items in this for this layout but I really just wanted to share with you that scrapbooking on a budget is possible if you really have a good look around for those key pattern pieces of paper that you can do some fussy cutting with or cut out with your trimmer like I've done with this set and um, you can actually get a full embellishment set um, and it'll it, and create a beautiful layouts on a budget. So there's my tip for the tip for the video. If you've got any budget tips other than what I've said, let me know in the comments because I always I always like to come up with different ways. I work um, in a field where there are times when I'm worried about people and me pulling out some scrapbooking and getting creative with them when we're talking about some really tough things. That's that's one of the things that have, has come in handy and one of the techniques I've pulled out of my tool belt when, when supporting people and um, I've had to do it on a budget. So I would love to know any of your budget scrapbooking techniques um, that like let me know in the comments below because I can then put that in my little toolbox which will hopefully go to helping people some someday and also spreading the spreading the word around our scrapbooking community about how to scrapbook um, when the when the budget's a little tight. Yeah, so here I am. As you can see, I've just created lots of beautiful layers under my photo here. My photo size is a three by four inch, which is half a normal size photo. Check out this bad boy. <laughs> oh, I'll let you know about that in a minute uh, while I'm navigating how to get into it. <laughs> So it's half a three, uh, four by six photo and I've just double mounted that on um, some cardstock there just to help it jump off the page and I've built all those beautiful layers behind from that cut apart sheet. I've then added some foam tape to just give it a bit of dimension and to help raise it off the off the page um, and and yeah and now I'm thinking about my embellishments and this is the other part of the challenge for me which is incorporating some of these gorgeous little die cut ephemera pieces that came in the main kit. Um, how cute is that little house? Yes so that ginormous absolutely ginormous roll of foam tape I scored at my local hardware store and I think it was yeah, our hardware store here our big chain one is called Bunnings here in Australia and I think it was about $15 for that entire humongous roll of double-sided tape which it's designed to it's tape it's acid free it's like I, I read it it's like it's ticking all our creative preservation boxes but it's designed to put on the back of photo frames and to stick it on your wall um, but I thought this is a bargain because usually my foam tape just for a smaller roll costs about ten dollars so I've got this ginormous roll that's hilarious to look at because it takes up my entire 12 by 12 inch page <laughs> when I'm cutting it and um, yeah so I guess there's another budget technique look out a ways of finding um, like economical things. Sometimes you have to buy a larger amount, but it will last twice as long. So there's a another little budget saving technique there. And okay, back on the layout, Lauren. Then I've grabbed these gorgeous little vellum stars and I just want to sprinkle stars down the page. As you can see, I the the yellow Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals I've put more yellow products near it and then as we've moved into the pink area I've applied some pink embellishments and used some pink ephemera and then up the top where we've got those gorgeous blues I've adding my blues and my greys ephemera just there so as you can see all the colors right from the background to the embellishments all have a matching and are all flowing in a color theme and I thought that was kind of a bit fun there there's that gorgeous little pop of that red star there well it's sort of burgundy 
deep pinky star there and I was mindful that you know they're really strong pops of color so when you're doing that just make sure there's a couple of other little elements on the page that are those pops of color and it will sort of balance out like it has there as you can see that five cent little sign there under the winter that I'm sticking on that's that color and that little tag has the reinforcing hole just poking out there that's that color so it seems to sort of little balance that darker star out there but I thought it was really cute so there anyway now I'm applying some thickers and I'm titling my page winter wonderland this is a photo of me and Katie when we went on a holiday to New Zealand I've probably only touched snow about three times in my entire life and here we were in New Zealand doing that. That's It makes it very challenging um, when we're with these kind of embellishments where snow is not something that we experience at Christmas time. It's we're in sweltering heat and we're walking around in singlets and... Um, but it was just really lovely because I didn't have any wintry Christmas photos because we're all in thongs and and shorts and dresses um, that I could pull back on this special memory and use these products out of the December kit and the November kits to really delight in a memory that happened a couple of years ago. So that was, that's was that been really lovely for me. So I'm fi just finishing off now, adding the last few embellishments and um, there's my layout done. So if you haven't heard of the Hip Kit Club, the link is in the description below. Go check it out and take care, guys. I'm going to be back really soon with a new video um, over on my channel. And I hope you can stop by and check that out as well. So take care. Keep scrapping. Bye.